My name is Dan Fantasia from Treeline Incorporated. There are 10 reasons why companies fail to hire top sales professionals. And today I want to talk about the three biggest issues challenging most companies in today's economy. The first thing I want to talk about is how most companies just don't meet enough people. And that's a huge challenge. So number one, you don't meet enough people. And there's many reasons why you don't meet enough people. Maybe you just don't have the resources, or maybe you have a recruiting department that is in charge of recruiting for the entire enterprise and the entire company. Or maybe you have no resources at all. Well, these are all challenges, especially when it comes to hiring sales professionals, because sales professionals are gonna grow revenue. They're gonna build your business. And so sales should be one of the biggest priorities when it comes to growing your company. And so the challenge is, if you have resources, that you're sharing with other departments. The big challenge here is if you're not getting the quality, if you're not getting enough candidates, if you're not getting a focused approach on finding talent, then you're not going to get talent. And when you're recruiting sales professionals, you, can, you should consider it um, as important as it is to build pipeline. So think about yourself and your sales team looking to build pipeline. How critical is it to get on the phones, to target the right audience, to contact them, connect with them, and build a pipeline. Well, sales recruiting is the same thing. If you're not investing the time to build your pipeline filled with talented sales professionals, you'll never hire talented salespeople. And if you don't hire talented salespeople, or if you miss your hires, you'll never make that time back. And the reason why you won't make that time back is because every month it goes by that you miss your number and your quota, means that you'll miss it for the month, then for the quarter, then the half, and then the year. And ultimately, in the end, your company will fail because you didn't hire talented people because you didn't get a chance to meet enough of them that could help you really bring in that revenue, close business, and grow the organization. So to fix this, the biggest thing of all is to make sure that you spend the time and you're selfish about the resources you have to bring you top talent. The second reason why most companies fail to hire top sales talent is because they take too long. They take too long. And the reason why they take too long is because there are a variety of other things going on. Or they have uh, a, a whole slew of people that are part of the interview process. Now, if you're the hiring manager and you're making the call on this person, make sure you move quickly. Because as you and I both know, talented sales prof professionals have urgency. They move quickly. And if they're talented and considering other opportunities, I guarantee you they're talking to other organizations. And if they're talking to other organizations and you can't move as quickly as they can, then those sales representatives, the best ones, will leave you. Now, you may think that you're doing a great job in your process and you're vetting all of the right candidates. But the problem is, as you take long to do this and figure this out, your competition is, hiring, is scooping these people up and hiring them within two or three interviews when it may take your team five interviews. So you have to ask yourself, do I need everyone in the interview process? Do I need to move more quickly? How am I um, losing my candidates and where am I losing them in the process? And then what you'll probably learn is that you have to move very, very quickly. Because if you don't, instead of hiring the best candidates, you're going to hire the candidates that just want the job that can make it through the entire process. And that's not efficient or effective. That's good to hire people. But when it comes to hiring salespeople, there are a lot of intangibles that you need to understand, and one of them is urgency. If you can't move quickly enough on your candidates, they'll have concerns about your company, and they'll definitely go to your competition. The third and um, last point I want to make today is many managers are trained to qualify candidates out. So you qualify all of your candidates out, but unfortunately, you don't sell them in. And so that, we find that to be a huge challenge for many of our clients. We're known for building best in class, high output sales organizations, and we see the companies that find success and the ones that don't. They all think that they do a great, great job recruiting, but in actuality, only very few of them really get the top talent in, in, in this market.
And so the reason why this is so important is because if you're busy, if you're so busy negative selling a person on how challenging it is and selling them on, on the reasons why it might not be a good fit and asking them trick questions and all kinds of other things, then you're going to lose those candidates. And they're going to go to your competition because they're getting wined and dined and they're, they're getting um, schmoozed to come over and that's why they're going to those organizations, right? They get excited about it. They get sold on the opportunity. So if you're qualifying them out and only spending your time qualifying them out, you're failing your organization. You have to definitely learn how to sell candidates on the opportunity and sell them early and often. You'll have plenty of time throughout the entire interview process then to qualify them out. But if you can't get them excited up front and keep that excitement going, sustaining it throughout the entire interview, then you're never going to get a person to join your organization. And then once again, because you're so busy qualifying them out, you'll only end up hiring the, the B and C candidates because all of the A candidates won't give you the time. They will have already found another opportunity. They will have already moved on and you'll be hiring the people that you think are the right fits, but actually you've already lost the best players. So you're getting B and C players because ultimately you're spending, uh, you don't meet enough of them, you're taking too long to hire them, and you're qualifying them out instead of selling them in. We have a great um, white paper on these 10 reasons. You're welcome to visit our website to find more, or you can contact me directly and I'm happy to email them to you. Thank you so much for taking your time today.